Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be renaming some uh, images, um, multiple images to the names that we have in a text file. So this is the Pokemon Go app Essence and Images uh, repository from someone. He ripped the images from the game itself so I figured they might look really well inside my own tracker which I will be introduced to the channel soon. So. Um, as you can see they just have the numbers correct but the name is I don't know how they parse it in the game itself so we'll be needing to rename them ourselves so what I'll do is just uh, go to the root of this repository and download the zip file save the zip file wait till it's loaded here we go the downloads finished let's uh, unpack this extract it because all we need is this folder. So let's delete the other ones. Here we go. So now that we got this, let's open Visual Studio. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, let's hmm, let's add this to my personal training repository. It doesn't really matter. Go to new. Oh, and we got the bug again. It's not that important. I know it by heart. So let's pick. Win32 console application, Poke Renamer, Poke Image Renamer. This is uh, make a new repository, we don't want that, and just press OK. Project. This only happens when um, I'm recording for some reason, I don't know why it's not that important. So let's add a main. I always call my CPP file main too. Um, not sure if that's needed, that's just how we learned it. And zero is the entry point um, we will be needing console output because that's how I debug stuff we will be needing um, fstream because we will be reading the names from a text file we will be needing a string um, and we will be this is zeal by the way this is an uh, offline documentation view it's really good Let's look for std rename I will need the header C S D D I O include C S D D I O here we go and uh, this method takes a constant char pointer for the old file name and a constant char pointer for the new file name alright so let's uh, search for a list of the Pokemon names um, let's just search for list of Pokemon names. The simplest Google searches <laughs> tend to yield the best results. So let's just put txt. You know, list of all Pokemon just text. I hope someone. Ah, here we go. Let's just copy the first gen because this will be used for my Pokemon Go um, tracker. So only the first generation is needed. Let's oh don't open Unity please. Let's make a new text file. Here we go. Uh, I will uh, look for the Nidorans because out of experience I know this is not going to work because of the encoding of course. And now let's search for the spaces spaces. Let this to mine. Because uh, I will be specifically um, reading this file with new line characters so I uh, not new line excuse me with uh, white space characters so a space counts as that but I only want new lines so let's say it is in repositories personal training Pokemon image renamer here we go uh, pokenames.txt and that's that let's just um, go here. Let's open that file. Uh, for convenience, I will be using namespace std for simple projects like this. I like to use that. So let's use input stream file. Open pokenames.txt. Then uh, quickly check if it failed, because you might lose time on that, which you don't want to. 
fail to open input file and delete. Um, and then what I will be doing is um, I'll be reading line for line, but I like to instead of reading the line then renaming a file, I like to just read the whole file then close it. So uh, save all the lines in a vector or strings. That's how I like to do it. Uh, for a project of this scope, it doesn't really matter that much. Let's um, do this. Let's make a vector of strings. Call it names because these will be all the names. And let's make a lot um, a string to read the lines in. Call it lines. And now we can do while the file. Isn't that its end? Put it in line and then push that line back into a names. So what this will do, if you're not familiar with this, is um, it will read the file until the next white space character and put that content into line. And then I say um, push the line into names so the names will be filled with all the lines. Then it goes back to here while. Is, are, is there still any content in file? Then it will do that again and push that back. So that's why you needed to delete the delete the spaces. So uh, let's just check if that worked out. Put a breakpoint here. The name's size should be 151. Here we go. Cool. So uh, we don't need those names. We need those names plus .png. Append oh, .png and uh, that's that for the names. So uh, let's look at the uh, <coughs> docs again. Um, the new file name is handled already. So now we need some consistency inside the old file name because we want to loop over them. And as you can see here, they have oh, it's just been this. That's desk bins, by the way. Um, there's no consistency whatsoever except for the numbers. Let's uh, copy all of these, paste them in the directory, the working directory. And what I'll be doing is using a window strict to rename these. I'll select all of these, so select the last one, and then shift select the first one. Why I select the last one first is because if I press F2 now to rename it, the first one will be selected and I want to keep this order, so that's the best. So um, if you didn't know renaming a lot of files, renames them and puts um, a numbering system after them. So let's just make this an empty name, press enter. And as you can see, all of these files have been renamed to a very, in a very consistent way. And the numbers are still correct. Let's just check this. There is still a space in between. Yeah, there's still a space before them because, yeah, probably Windows couldn't accept an empty file name. So let's um, keep that into account. So no for insights integer i that equals zero. Um, as long as i is smaller than names.size increment i. So we, what we want to do now is um, let's just we like this. Mm. Is it an int? Yes, it's an int. Zero upon success. All right, int uh, success equals std. We got that in a namespace. The old file name, which will be um, let's just make a string. Uh, it starts with a space, space, and then these parentheses. If I'm right. Uh, yes, then let's just put this in the constructor. Um, then it goes to string, which is std i plus this. That should be it. But as you might have noticed, it takes a const char pointer, so we will be using the dot c string. Um, to convert this to a constant char point. Now the new file name, what we want it to be is just the name of the Pokemon. So we want it to be names on i 
and we want uh, the PNG, of course. Yes, append dot png. That's the new file name, right? Oh no, that's already there. I put that here. Oh right. So that means um, I will have to put it right here. Ah, let's just do it like this. Dot png. Close these brackets. Let's try. C-string. And now, if success does not equal zero, C out, fail to rename, and then let's just put the failed name on there. Here we go. Um, I just thought about an issue, a possible issue, that we start counting from one. That's right. Alright, so this will be one, and we will need to be less or equal to, but that will make true an exception if we use names on i. Let's just put minus one in here, minus one in here. All right, this should be it. Let's um, bin this for now. I might get some errors, but they won't, shouldn't be too hard to fix. Uh, I'll press Control F5 because I don't want the program to close immediately. No errors, and here we go. As you can see, all of the um, files have been renamed, and this is Abra. Let's just test some B drill, Cadabra. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you learned some things and. Um, Make sure to subscribe and leave a like, I enjoy making these and some positive feedback or just feedback that isn't just destroying me is always welcome. Thank you.